Welcome back. In this video we will talk about importing geometry and the importance of using linked geometry in Fusion 360. When our geometry is imported we will also create a joint origin and join our components together. So if you will please open up step 5 bulb assembly and when you have opened your file do not hide your data panel because we want to import this file, import lampshade cap assembly into our file. We can do this by right clicking, insert into current design, or simply clicking and dragging it into our canvas. When we import geometry, we'll notice a few things. First of all, our imported geometry will be placed at the origin of our file, and we will be automatically in the move copy command. I will use this plane slider to move my geometry into this space and hit enter. We will be joining our geometry together so we do not need to place it exactly in the right spot. Second, you'll notice it has created a new component. This component will bring in all of the components and component assemblies from the file you have imported. However, you will notice that I cannot edit my joints, origin, or bodies of my existing components. This is because this component has been linked. Linked components are not directly editable in the file that they are linked into. This allows you to update your components by opening the file here and then in this file that it is linked into will automatically update with the changes you have made. This is important if you are working on multiple parts of a design and one part is being updated more rapidly than the other, or if multiple people are working on the same project. I will collapse this component, and let's join our imported lampshade cap assembly to our lamp. I know that this wants to be hovering right in between my two arms, and eventually it will be held up by my lampshade, but for now, we do not have a good spot to join it to. This is where we can use a joint origin. If I go to the Assemble tab and find Joint Origin, you'll notice that I can place two types of joint origin, a simple or between two faces. A simple joint origin will allow me to place a joint origin anywhere on a face and then edit it or rotate it in relation to where I placed it. This is helpful for placing objects directly on other objects, but we want our joint origin to be floating in the middle. So I will go Assemble, Joint Origin, and I will select Between Two Faces. Now I will select the outside face of this body, orbit my model, and select the outside face of this body. Now it's asking for a snap location. This is similar to a position when I am creating a joint. I will hold Control and select the center of this circle. Again, control and the center of the circle. Our joint origin is now placed in the proper position relative to my geometry. However, if we look at the joint origin that was imported with our component and the joint origin here, you will see that they are facing different directions or they are oriented differently. If we want to, we can go to reorient and select two axes to reorient our joint origin, or by simply selecting a face, like this face, it will automatically reorient that joint origin to the orientation of the face. So let's go reorient, and I will select the upper face here, and hit OK. We have now placed a joint origin that will move with the geometry. and we can place a rigid joint. I will go Assemble, Joint, select Rigid, and select the joint origin here, and the joint origin here. You will notice that I am joining an assembly. This is multiple components, and the joint origin in this assembly was originally hosted to this rubber washer. Only the component that we selected will preview the joint. Once we hit OK, the rest of the components that are joined together will move to the new location. This is not a glitch. This is not a problem. 
Fusion 360 does not want to overwork our machines by animating all of the components associated. Instead, it will only animate the one component and the other component which we are joining. When I hit OK, we will see that the rest of the components are moved into the proper position. I will go to my home view and save my file. In the next video, we will import our fastener assemblies and join them into the proper location. I will see you in the next video.